Hello people of YouTube, this is Sniper378 here, back on another video of YouTube. And uh, on this video, I will be talking about something I haven't really talked about. I'm going to be doing a trailer review on Captain America Civil War Trailer 2. It just... It just aired like... 9 hours ago? Something like that. Like, 9 hours ago or something stupid like that. But I will be doing a review on it. I'm not going to be doing a reaction video because I... That's cheating if I already did it like 15,000 times. But I will be doing a react. I can't do a reaction video if I've already seen it 15 times. I would be cheating. That'd be like grabbing a piece of cheese and eating it, and then grabbing another piece of cheese and eating that one too, and then saying it tastes the same. That's probably nothing like what I'm saying right now, but you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, I know what you wanted me to talk about: the ending with Spider-Man, and I will get to that. But first, I want to explain my team. And explain why I have always been a big fan of Captain America if you've been on my earlier videos and watch some of them I explain I explain that Captain America is my favorite superhero and yes I am on cap caps team I am but not because of that not fully because of that but a main reason why I'm on Captain America's team is because I agree with him I mean he believes the government shouldn't hold the key to everything I mean the Avengers saved everyone in like a lot of movies cap saved everyone in a lot of movies if they and this guy I don't even know what it is he's the guy off the of Hulk uh, I I <laughs> don't concentrate on Hulk that much but uh he's the guy on Hulk he's like the general guy whatever his name is Elliot Ross or something like that but Elliot Ross was um telling Captain America that he caused this damage and caused that damage and caused this damage yeah he did but look at it this way the enemies were the ones that caused the damage and if Cap America didn't stop him with, uh, you know, the Avengers and everybody else, there would have been more damage. So, I'm saying, why are they blaming Captain America for the damage that the enemies did? He was the one stopping them from doing more damage than they are were already doing. I mean, why is he, like, fugitive for that? I mean, it's like, oh, wow, that guy stole a candy bar, which means you gotta go to jail because you were watching. I mean, yeah, I understand that if you don't tell, but just because you see it doesn't mean you have to go to jail. It makes no sense, but that's why I'm on Captain America's team, because I don't agree with the government on this one, because they make no sense at all. I mean, first of all, Obama. I don't agree with Obama at all. I'm sorry if you agree with Obama, but really, I mean, he's giving away our weapons to the place that's trying to kill us. All right, then. Obama, you... Uh, good luck with that. All I say is good luck because I know you're not going to succeed. But anyway, um, off the, the topic about real government on the movie. Um, the movie, the government makes no sense at all, but I really don't agree with it. That's why I'm on Team Captain America, because they are against the rebels of the government. But um, I don't agree with what the government has to say on this movie. Well, what I know about this movie so far, I haven't seen this movie yet. So if you're like gonna tell me, oh, you've seen the movie already? Oh, no, I haven't seen the movie yet. So in case you're thinking I'm someone special, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not even a background on the movie. I just seen the trailer. That's the first time I've ever seen a movie, anything of the movie. But um, yeah, that's why I'm on Team Captain America all the way. And um, yes, we are now on the subject of Spider-Man. As far as Spider-Man is concerned, I am actually not sure why he's on Team Iron Man. I mean, he's apparently on Team Iron Man because he went against Captain America. I mean, you guys seen it in the trailer. He freaking web-slinged his shield towards him and then used the shield and got a superhero landing. That was an awesome landing. You guys have to admit that landing was pretty cool that Spider-Man did on the trailer. But um, he did the landing, take away... That was Cap Shield, and plus he came when Iron Man called him. Yes, regarded he called him under ruse, which I think that's awesome. I mean, if Tony Stark and uh, Spider Man were making appearance together, I don't think they would have done it any better way. But under ruse, really, that that is just amazing. I just love the way they did that. But anyway, when he came in and took Cap Shield, that automatically made everybody believe that he's on Team Iron Man. Because, you know, he listens to Iron Man, he did take away his shield, went against Cap, so he's on Team Iron Man. And as far as that's concerned, I don't know why. I mean, I always thought of Spider-Man as a person who, you know, 
uh, would go on Cap's side. I, I don't know why, but I just really didn't see him as the government type because on the old movies, he's running away from the police and trying to avoid the police and everybody's after them. So why would he be helping the government? I mean, does he want to be like patrolled every five seconds of the day? And plus, you got to remember, Tom Holland, the guy who plays Spider-Man, did an interview saying that Spider-Man's the only guy with a secret identity in the MCU so far. So I was just wondering, like on the old Civil War comic books, you guys remember that they thought that superheroes couldn't have secret identities anymore. So if Spider-Man's the only one with a secret identity, should Iron Man's team be going against Spider-Man for having a secret identity? That's something you gotta think about, but really, I just really thought about it right now. But it just like, surprises me that he's on Iron Man's side. I mean, I'm sure the movie explains it well why he's on Spider-Man's side. There must be like some tragic thing that Captain America's side did to Spider-Man. I don't, I don't even know. But I just question why he's on Iron Man's side. But uh, then again, I have to say that Captain America, I don't know why he's on the side he is. I mean, I know, I know most of it is to save Bucky, but as far as the government comes, I mean. Isn't he like kind of part of the military and stuff like that? So shouldn't he be with the government? I mean, it's like he's rebelling against himself now. I don't even know what's going on. I think most of it is because of Bucky. So friendship really goes far on this movie. But um, yeah, that's uh, uh, Iron Man's team. I really, really don't have much to talk about Iron Man's team. Because I don't even know why Iron Man is working with the government anyway. I mean. I know his buddy Rhodey is on the government, but why? I mean, why does he want to take away all the rights that the Avengers had? I mean, doesn't he know what he himself went through in the Avengers, and now all of a sudden he has to be registered under something to be a superhero? I mean, I, I know he quit on, well, sort of. I, he, he supposedly quit on Iron Man 3. He supposedly quit on the Avengers Age of Ultron. I bet he's gonna supposedly quit at the end of this one too, or hopefully he's not the one who dies because I've been reading rumors that somebody's gonna die. And it's most likely gonna be Rhodey, but because we see in the trailer, he's like, it's all falling down. It's like, no, like some kind of Titanic moment. It was really, really emotional. I was waiting for Leonardo DiCaprio to come in and, you know, spice up the moment. But anyway, uh, Iron Man team, there's not much to talk about him. I mean, he's got Scott Johansson. He's got Vision, which was on one part on the trailer, and it shows him getting his butt kicked by Scarlet Witch. That was the only part he was on on the trailer. I don't, you can't even see them when they're running towards each other. I mean, I'm, I like pausing the video. He's probably like there somewhere, like hiding next to someone or something like that, but I didn't see him when they were running towards each other. The only part I saw him on was when Scarlet Witch was using her freaking thing. He was like, no, no, I'm allergic to red dust. So he was like getting down on the ground, like freaking gasping for air, and foam coming out of his mouth, like getting electrified. I don't know if she's like pouring water on him because he's a robot. So circuiting. But no, I I think it's really crazy. But um, there's Vision, War Machine, which maybe most likely dies on this one. Iron Man and Black Panther. I can't say much about Black Panther. He does look cool. I like the part where he's jumping on the cars and he grabs the motorcycle and Bucky falls off. That's pretty cool. I like that. But uh, as far as Black Panther is concerned, I don't know much about him. I know that him and Winter Soldier fight on the scene on top of the rooftop and they start shooting at him on the helicopter. And he starts looking at the helicopter like, what you think you're doing? What you think you're doing? So I don't know what he does after that. He just looks at the helicopter like, um, yeah, um, I I'm looking at you in an awesome way, but I don't know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> so, uh, I'm guessing he has, like, some bulletproof vest or something on that. And, um, uh, yeah, and then after that, there's Spider-Man and Iron Man. So, Iron Man, there's not much to talk about him. He's, like, the main guy on Team Iron Man, duh. But, um, as far as he's concerned, Spider-Man is on his team, I believe. And I don't know about you guys, but... I really, really want to see a fight scene of Spider-Man and Ant-Man because that would be awesome. It'd be like Bug versus Bug, it, and, it, and it'd be awesome. I mean, I can't imagine a way because think about it: Ant-Man grows small, and then freaking he gets super strength. So 
freaking Peter's webs won't pull him. So if he goes small, he can break Peter's webs. So I think, I think that Ant-Man would be a great match for Spider-Man. Ant-Man and Spider-Man, that'd be a great fight. I really, really hope they do that on the movie because that would be an awesome fight. I would watch it over and over again. But yes, that's as far as I'm concerned. And Spider-Man, the costume itself, I love it. I mean, it's awesome. There are a few things I have about it, like the black lines that are going across his red suit. I'm not sure if you understand, like the black lines, like that's supposed to represent webbing. The black lines, it doesn't really fade in that well. I mean, on the old movies, you notice that they were darker and clearly seen. But on this one, they're there, but it's like very faded. I don't know why. And his eyes, his eyes are freaking cool. I love it that they show his emotion. The freaking emotion eyes that they did on Deadpool. And plus, plus, there's a, probably a reason to it. Because his eyes like did a clicking sound when they did it. I'm not sure if you understand what I mean. But his eyes did a clicking sound when they moved. And I'm thinking that's some kind of like machine thing in his eyes. That it, like show his emotion each time he moves his eyes. His eyes on the, the suit move. So I'm thinking that some electronic thing is going like his web shooters, like his web shooters that are uh, also on the movie, which you show if you pause it just in time. If you show, pause it just in time, it shows him shooting out of his web shooters. That's how I know web shooters are on the movie. And it also has the whatever eye moving technology thing. I don't even know, but did a clicking sound. And that's what I think. Or unless it can be like, uh, you don't even know how he moves his eyes. like freaking Deadpool but Deadpool was cool enough to where you're like Phew. I don't care it's freaking awesome just like sh jumping everywhere I don't know anybody who complained about how he moved his eyes they're all like how does he move his eyes oh who cares Deadpool's still awesome and I have to agree it really jumps down if Deadpool sucked I bet there would be a lot more people complaining about his eyes like his eyes aren't supposed to do that how is he doing that that's if Deadpool, Deadpool sucked, but it rocked awesomely, so <laughs> thank god for that, but anyway, um, that's what I have to say about Captain America Civil War Trailer 2, it looks awesome, the fighting scenes are pretty good, I would rate it an 8 out of 10, I mean the two points that I'm taking away are it's because there are a few cheesy moments in the thing, like the general guy, and Spider Spider-Man's web things, but that's still pretty good. But um, that's all I gotta say for this one. So thanks for watching, and this is Sniper Three Seven Eight, and I'm out. Peace.